Hello there. It's been an unsettled start to 2022 so far, hasn't it? But Wednesday changed all that for many across England and Wales. After a frosty and foggy start, we had pictures like this. A beautiful scene in Wrexham. Hardly a cloud in the sky. It was chilly with it. But further north, we had more cloud. However, it was Scotland and Northern Ireland that had the milder weather, with temperatures topping out at 12 or 13 degrees across eastern Scotland and northeast England. Now, this was the situation on Wednesday. Day, and it's a fairly similar story to close out the working week. High pressure still with us, a southwesterly wind feeding cloud and a little bit of patchy drizzle across the far north and west. But under those clearer skies and with very light winds, we're going to see frost and fog forming once again. So temperatures potentially down as low as minus three in a few rural parts. The exception is the far north of Scotland. Yes, it will be frosty, but also it will be foggy, particularly for parts of England and Wales. Some of the fog dense in places and it may well take most of the morning before it slowly lifts into low cloud and hopefully disperse. So pretty miserable start, but hopefully improving later on. The cloud with that southwesterly breeze again thick enough for a spot or two of drizzle, but we could see double figures across the far north of Scotland despite the winds gusting in excess of 40 to 50 miles an hour across the northern Isles. So a blustery afternoon here, light winds not shifting that fog some time soon. So temperatures will struggle just a touch, 6 to 8 degrees across England and Wales. As we move out of Thursday into Friday, the high pressure not moving very far, very fast, which basically means that we will continue to see a good deal of quiet weather. This weather front again increasing the risk of some light patchy rain, nothing particularly significant. Fog could be more extensive on Friday and as a result, it could be slow to clear. If that happens, one or two places might not see temperatures climbing out of freezing. But if we get the sunshine coming through again, we're looking at five to seven to the south we're looking at maximum of 10 or 11 degrees across the far north. Now, as we move towards the weekend, that quieter theme will stay with us. A good deal of dry weather. The question is just how much sunshine we will see. There are water worlds that are so remote that even today, few people have ever seen them. The Green Planet continues Sunday at 7 on BBC One and iPlayer. His paintings are so successful at telling us what he felt. He was an artist compelled to capture nature. His name became synonymous with the art movement Surrealism. He was an outsider, a true original. Four artists seen through 60 years of archive material. Art on the BBC continues Monday at 9 on BBC4 and iPlayer. During the pandemic, thousands of dogs were stolen across the UK and Ireland. This is the story of Molly, one of those stolen dogs, and the fight to bring her home. We expose the devastation caused by dog thefts and investigate how this booming illegal trade has links to organized crime. Unveiling dog smugglers, puppy farms and illegal online sales. Bring Molly home. Watch on iPlayer. Is the world of opera changing? We had to start more with using technology and using streaming, for instance. Find out about its growing global appeal from the biggest names in opera today and two of the superstars of the future. Take Me to the Opera with Zainab Badawi. Watch on iPlayer.